The fastest way to stop tinnitus, 30-second technique to silence ringing in the ears, tinnitus, characterized by the perception of noise or ringing in the ears when no external sound is present, can range from a mild annoyance to a debilitating condition. Dr. J. Stridham developed a technique, later modified by others, that offers a promising approach to mitigating this condition. Here, we delve into the details of this technique, its foundations, and the underlying causes of tinnitus, providing a comprehensive analysis aimed at those seeking relief. Tinnitus is essentially a symptom of an underlying condition related to the auditory system, but is not limited to issues within the ear itself. It's more accurately described as a problem within the nervous system's connection to the brain, where the auditory signals are processed. The perception of tinnitus varies widely among individuals, emphasizing the need for a personalized approach to treatment. The condition can significantly impact quality of life, making effective management strategies invaluable. The technique introduced by Dr. Stridham and modified by subsequent practitioners focuses on resetting the nerve associated with the auditory system, specifically the eighth cranial nerve, which connects the inner ear to the brain's auditory cortex. The method involves a simple, non-invasive action, tapping the back of the skull at the occiput. Located by drawing a line from the ears to the back of the head. This tapping motion is believed to send signals to the eighth cranial nerve, potentially resetting any malfunctions or disruptions in the auditory signal processing, rating your tinnitus. Before starting, individuals are advised to rate their tinnitus on a scale from 0, no issue, to 10, severe issue. The tapping technique, using the index finger over the middle finger, one performs a snapping motion to tap the occiput area of the skull 20 times. This action is recommended to be repeated in cycles, with a suggestion of doing it eight times based on anecdotal success stories. Reassessment After completing the cycles of tapping, individuals are encouraged to re-rate their tinnitus to evaluate any changes in perception. Numerous anecdotes highlight the potential effectiveness of this technique with individuals reporting significant reductions in their tinnitus severity. These success stories provide hope and validation for the technique's potential. However, it's important to acknowledge that tinnitus is a complex condition with various underlying causes, including insulin resistance, which may not be addressed by this technique alone. For those who do not find relief through the tapping technique, exploring the link between tinnitus and insulin resistance may be worthwhile. Benfoshamine, a fat-soluble form of vitamin B1, has been suggested as a supplement that could alleviate symptoms by addressing nerve damage associated with insulin resistance. The technique to mitigate tinnitus symptoms offers a simple, non-invasive option for those struggling with this condition. While success varies, the method is grounded in the understanding of tinnitus as a neurological issue rather than an ear-specific problem. It represents a step towards empowering individuals to manage their symptoms through self-administered actions. As with any medical condition, it's crucial to approach treatment holistically, considering all potential underlying causes and consulting with healthcare professionals to develop an effective management strategy.